In this lecture, we'll learn how to create first Angular 2 app using Angular command line interface or Angular CLI for short. The Angular CLI makes it easy to create an application that already works right out of the box. It follows best practices, generates components, routes, services, and pipes with just a simple command. The Angular CLI can also create simple test shells for all of these. The Angular team recommends using Angular CLI for developing our apps. To learn more about the Angular CLI project, head over to github.com slash angular slash angular hyphen CLI. You can find the installation instructions on this page and both the Angular CLI and the generated projects have dependencies that require Node 4 or higher and NPM 3 or higher. Since we already have the prerequisites installed on our machine, let's go back to our terminal on Mac or the command prompt on Windows to start installing Angular CLI using NPM. On your terminal, type npm install hyphen g and then angular hyphen cli. The hyphen g tells npm that you want angular cli to be installed globally. And when you press enter, it will start installing angular cli. This will take a few minutes. So let's come back after it gets installed. After you have installed Angular CLI on your machine, you may also want to install TypeScript. To do that, type npm install hyphen g TypeScript. It will take a moment to install TypeScript on your machine. And it shows me that TypeScript is already installed on my machine and the version is 2.0.3. Now that we have Angular CLI and TypeScript installed on our machine, the next thing that we are going to do is to create a new project in Angular 2. To do that, just type ng new and the project name. I'm going to name the project as Angular 2 CLI. That should create a new project called Angular 2 CLI. Once your application is successfully created, go to your project folder by typing cd angular2 cli. That's the name of my project. Now, to run our application, we need to type ng serve. What it does is, it starts a development server running on localhost 4200 port and it also builds all the application modules. Now let's go to our local host colon 4200 and you should see that the application should be running. There you go, so you have just built your first Angular 2 application using Angular CLI. To see what files and folders Angular CLI has created for us, let's open the project using Visual Studio Code. So we go to File, and then Open, and it should have created my project here. So I'm going to select Angular 2 CLI and click Open. That should open the project and I can see that it has created a number of files and folders here. Under source, you would find the app folder which basically would consist of your components. So let me see what we have in this app.component.ts. Here we have something called appworks which is what is being displayed here in our browser. So let's try to change that. So I'm going to change that to 
Welcome to Angular 2. And save that. Now I'm going to flip over to the browser. And as you can see, the browser automatically refreshes itself without you having to reload the page. So uh, that's the beauty of working with Angular CLI.